Hey guys, Happy New Year! Wish you all the best in this 2019. Someone emailed me about how to create a, a puzzle piece of this wonderful October 1st puzzle. And I think this is a good topic for AutoCAD 3D Basic. So let's start. Before that, let's take a look at this puzzle piece we are going to create. This is a puzzle called October 1st Puzzle. And it is created by a designer called Christopher. And look at this. This is the 3D puzzle. The interesting of this puzzle is it consists of six pieces and each one are the same. So today's task is going to create this. It's not difficult, but it's good 2D and 3D exercise. And by the way, if you are interested how to solve the puzzle, you can go to this website by Urban. He has a lot of animation about how to solve different puzzles. This is very interesting. The link is in the command area below. This is a typical situation. You have got a photo and you want to make it a 3D model. You need to estimate the size of it and also you have to draw the 2D first. So in, in different CAD package, they may have different workflow. But for AutoCAD, most of the time, if you draw the 2D, then it will be very easy for you to create a 3D from the 2D drawing. To create this 2D drawing, I will use a method called third angle projection. I show you this. I do a Google search, third angle projection. And I scroll down. I think this one is good. It tell you what it is. So the idea is you have a 3D model. You put a paper in between you and the object. And then you try to draw the 2D from different sides, just like this as a box. And then you unfold the box. So this is called third angle projection. I will use third angle method to draw the 2D. First, I will draw the top view and then the side view on the right and the side view on the left. And that's enough because in front and back, there's nothing there. The idea of creating this is I'm going to create the center piece, a whole piece. It looks like a letter C. Okay, just like that here. You see my mouse. And then you remove all these items by using the AutoCAD command purse pull with the side view. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I assume the height is maybe 80 millimeter and horizontal will be around 60. So 80 by 60 and the height is 20. Okay, I move it aside. I okay, first thing you create a new drawing. A cat ISO. I already set up my AutoCAD environment to be 3D model length. If you haven't, you can do it this way. Click over here and select 3D model length. I'm using AutoCAD 2019, but uh, 2014 or, or later, so long as they have the ribbon should be more or less the same. For detail about set up the 3D environment, please check my other tutorial. 
okay so first I will create this I will start with a rectangle click any point I will input x 60 comma 80 space bar and then I will zoom in by click on it here let's see the width is 10 so O space bar offset 10 space bar select the rectangle click inside and space bar to finish there's one here let's see one two three four so I will type an L I will start from here if start from here it should be 20 and move it up 20 space bar so it start from here and horizontal should be 10 move it up 10 and move it back space bar and I will trim it TR space bar choice 1 2 and select space bar to finish so that's the top view let's create the white view rectangle REC space bar touch it and move it somewhere here so they are united might be here to start with so click and the width is 20 and the height is 80 so 20 comma 80 and then so you see if I look at it from the side there will be a gap here and there will be a gap here so then I will expose the rectangle X space bar select space bar and I can see here 20 and top down 20 so O space bar 20 select the 9 Ops, select the 9 offset select the 9 offset space bar and I can see here so 9 this is in the middle so click here okay in the middle and this part is, is going half of it so 9 space bar click and click space bar and trim it okay get the idea so if you look at the white view from this angle you will draw this and then you unfold the box the third angle projection unfold the box it will look like that see for the other side I will do mirror MI spacebar select everything and then hold the shift key and select I'll weigh these two by using window okay so hold the shift key remove the from the selection space bar click in the middle and move it down space bar and now this one I can see it is nine click in the middle and then I think there's a nine in between so offset 10 this one move it down click and then I will trim away extra nice so TR spacebar twice and I click this one and spacebar to finish and before we create 3D it is good practice to create a layer to hold the 2D so layer layer property create 2D and I also create 3D okay and double click 3D so this is the current layer and select and select all these and I will go to the layer and select 2D escape so these objects are in 2D layer but we are now in 3D layer to create a 3D model now it's time to create a 3D 
first I will go to isometric view so click that corner I will change it to conceptual okay. and then you see as I told you before this is a third angle projection so we when we draw we unfold the box now to create the 3d model we will do the reverse we fold the paper so it go back to just like a box to do that I will use the command 3d rotate so I will rotate I hold the switch and middle mouse wheel to orbit so this is a view which allow me to select the object more easily so I click and select spacebar and then I will rotate around the green axis here and then 90 degree okay so that's the one you see if you look at it from this side this is how it looks like I will move M spacebar P spacebar spacebar select this corner and move it here you see this is what I said put it back like a box do the same for the other side so 3D rotate select spacebar and because you see I rotate around the green axis will allow me to rotate in the correct direction so I move to the green circle and it changes yellow and I click and now na minus 90 degree okay so that's the one you can see from this view and I will type M spacebar and click this corner and this corner so everything ready just like that the first thing now I will do is to do the purse pull so purse pull click in between and move it down I can select this end point to to have that thickness and do a purse pull on this side to remove this part so I click and move just like that click and move and click and move see that's the one for the other side it's is this part and oh there should be one more now here it's okay we can add it now I will do a copy I will select this line by window and then spacebar I will click this pawn and then second pawn here okay so that's the height and now I can do uh, press pull click and move it to this side and click and move it out spacebar so you can see that's the puzzle piece and finally I will turn off the layer so go to layer and turn off the 2d layer that's it so you see the workflow is you have a 3d model you estimate the size and then you draw the top view side view etc from different angle using the third angle projection and then do the 3D model like. See you next time. Bye bye.